Today, I'll be unboxing my Luminex 2 from Stenograph. I've been very excited and just eagerly awaiting for this to arrive, and it's finally come. But first, let me tell you a little bit about me. My name is Gregory Visney, and I'm a court reporting student as of now, and I'm enrolled in the Court Reporting at Home program, which is a fully online program. I'll leave a link in the description below to their website, as well as a link to Stenograph's website. Today, I'll be unboxing this stenograph. I'll tell you my initial thoughts on it. I'll tell you why I bought it, and I'll tell you my hopes for the future. So let's get right down to unboxing it. Alrighty. So as you notice, I've got two boxes here. Um, this box is some accessories, and this is a stenograph. With the time I ordered it, there was a special going on, and I can get either like a rolling case with the stenograph for free or some accessories. So I opted in to get the accessories. We'll unbox that later. We'll start with the stenograph. Alrighty, so it comes in a nice black bag. It looks nice, it's a nice little handbag. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here comes the stenograph. The tripod. A little booklet, a strap, and a bag with all our accessories. So that's everything inside the bag, I believe. Yep. Alright, let's see the stenograph. Wow, so beautiful. So let's just start pulling off some plastic to protect the screen. that sticker off. And here's a Luminex 2. So I chose to get raised vowel keys, an extended asterisk key, and a wide DZ key. So those are my options that I chose. Now let's just see if it has some power and we'll turn it on. Oh, it does have some power. It's a nice bright screen. Okay. So it looks like the battery has pretty good charge in it. Now this is currently set to one. Let's make that stroke a little bit more deep.
such a smooth feel. So nice, I could pinch to expand that. Scroll up and down the touch screen. Um, I could adjust tension here. That's the most tense, the least tense. Or I can completely disengage the tension by adjusting a toggle there. So say if I adjusted the depth of stroke to be so minimal that to like one. It's like nothing. It's like writing on air. It's wow. So so light. Wow. Amazing. So the Luminex 2 has the ability to navigate with these buttons, but also has a touch screen so that I can navigate that way as well. Just to give you a look around as well. So on the back here, you see the various ports. It has the SD card, the backup SD, USB Type-C connection, reset. This is for a thumb drive, it's USB. The microphone and um, headphone jack and the charging port. So those are all the ports on this stenograph. The screen can fold 180 degrees this way and as well as all the way down this way. Let's just end this job. Touch screen's responsive. So my initial thoughts on this machine is it's very, very amazing. It's a wonderful piece of technology and innovation in the stenography world. I'm very pleased with it, to say. Now let's review some of the other accessories that come with it. This bag here. Let's see, it says protect your investment. Some little things there. This looks like the USB C cable that communicates between the computer and the stenograph. You also have Wi Fi and Bluetooth. This is an incognito omnidirectional microphone, very small, very discreet. Plugs into the back because this stenograph can record audio. Um, some cleaning solution, microfiber cloth to clean the screen, a charger, and it looks like an audio cable that can extend a little further. And a flash drive it looks like, a USB flash drive, or it actually might be an SD card reader. No, yes, it's an SD card reader, excuse me, if your computer doesn't have one, but mine has one built in. And this is a tripod. Having some trouble opening it. Well, I'll open that later, but you get the idea. The tripod affixes to the stenograph by locking in with this mechanism right here into the bottom of the machine. So let's unbox my other accessories.
So I got the um, Bluetooth adapter and a kind of hard shell case to protect the stenograph when in transport. Those were the accessories I opted out for. Okay, looks like here's my invoice. Set that aside. Here's the Bluetooth adapter and the hard case. And some more documentation. nice. Hard will protect it definitely. So for instance, if I fold the screen down, Luminex 2 fits perfectly inside here, and then I can close it. It also comes with a shoulder strap as well. It's a nice protective cover. So what are my initial thoughts? Well, to say the least, I've been, I've been very pleased with Stenograph and their dedication to quality and making just quality products, quality writers. Um, I actually have a vintage Stenograph, which we'll discuss in a later video. And so it's kind of interesting to see the history, how they've progressed from then to now. As far as the keyboard feel, it's really smooth really nice. As far as the styling, I like the styling a lot. I got the white with white keys. I think it just looks professional and sleek and modern. And I think the versatility and functionality of it is very good as well, since it has the touch screen and has so many features built in. So later I'll be doing a video where I'll review the stenograph and give a more deep, in-depth kind of just look at the stenograph. So now, why? Why did I buy the Luminex 2? I, as I said, I'm a court reporting student. And the question that kind of begs, as some of you might be wondering, is why didn't I buy a student machine? Well, here's the reason. I have 529 funds, and I'm only planning to get my associate's degree in business administration, and since I'm not going to be really continuing on in college, I still have all this money to use towards education. So that brings up two scenarios. Here's scenario number one. I buy a Luminex CSE, a Capture Student Edition stenograph. So the student edition, I buy that now with the 529 funds. It's only about maybe $2,000, $1,000 $2, to $2,000. And I use that machine during my training as I progress. And then once I'm done with the program, once I'm finished and I'm starting to intern and wanting to get a job, then I have to upgrade to a professional machine. Well, I'm going to have to pay out of pocket for that, and that's expensive. This machine cost me a little over $5,000 at 2021's pricing. And it's a really expensive out-of-pocket expense. Now let's look at scenario number two. I buy this machine now with the 529 funds because I have the funds available, and granted that I continue and I don't drop out, as the dropout rate for stenography is very high, then this investment is well worth it. Because then I have a professional machine to use right there, all paid for by 529 funds, and I don't have to pay out of pocket for it. So that's the why behind I behind getting this Luminex 2, is because I had the funds available. Now if you are a student, 
I would suggest going with the student edition if you are tight for money. But if you're in a situation like mine where you have money to spend on education, then consider it. Possi the possibility of getting a professional machine now so that you have it for the future. Lastly, I'd like to end with my hopes for the future. So first and foremost, I hope to continue through this program, learn the theory, get my speed up to 225 words a minute, and just excel at it and do great. Secondly, I hope to become then a court reporter locally at a court nearby where I live. And lastly, my hopes for this channel. I hope this channel provides helpful information to people that are looking to become court reporters or are just wondering about stenography. I want it to be a place where people can come and learn. Secondly, I want it to be an interesting, fun, and just interesting video series of me becoming a court reporter. You get to kind of come along for the ride and see me develop from day one to whatever amount of days later that I become a court reporter. It'll be quite a while. It takes about three years. But if I stick with it and continue, I'll be able to do it. It's about having that mindset of wanting to do it. And you have to want it. You have to want it really bad to where if someone tells you, no, this isn't for you, you shouldn't do this, and you get angry inside, that's a good feeling because that tells you that you really want this. And I do. And so lastly, my third hope is that I want this channel to be a place for people to come and get information and prospective court reporters can see what it's like to learn and to develop and to go through this program. And then possibly court reporters themselves get to see what it's like as well. But for now, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day.